What's up, y'all? I ended up on this site and it connected a bunch of dots for me about the future of SEO and generative AI. Yeah, this site, the thing you probably have never visited in your whole life. Stay tuned. Now, I know that there's an alphabet soup of acronyms and all the different things you got to learn in this rapidly chasing AI world. But I will tell you, retrieval, augmented generation in this specific video from this woman is something that you probably should watch. But her video is mostly about the science behind it. I specifically want to dig into how this will affect SEO and how I think that SEO people just could be the future of how we look at how retrieval augmented generation affects our role in a world where people start to use more and more chatbots to get their answers instead of typing things in on Google. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in best oncologist in Louisville. You can see that it's doing research with Bing and it's modifying my search query. Notice how it puts um, 2023 at the end. So when I was doing this research, I said, great, I'm actually getting citations for one, but it led me to this website. How did this website beat out Vitals and WebMD as the source for the best oncologists in Louisville? And the answer lies in robots.txt. So if you look into why three best rated was the source for this information is because in spite of WebMD ranking at the top, they have done something to their robots.txt file that says, ChatGPT, you can't get my content. So here's the page. It ranks great. It's got great information. But you can see right here, a lot of these medical sites whatnot are now disallowing GPT's bot, whether it's WebMD, whether it's health grades. You can see they're saying, we don't want you to take our information. That's fine. However, if we start to live in a world where certain queries trigger chat GPT or other chat search engines to go out and retrieve information and then bring it back. Well, these folks are not only not getting the traffic, but later I'll give you an example of how I think this changes the entire landscape for the job of an SEO. If this world becomes the reality here, you can see that us news and world report allows the bot. There is no blocking here. So they would be more likely to also be a potential source. I think it's so interesting that. The world has kind of said, oh my goodness, generative AI is going to kill the job of SEO and there won't be nearly as many SEO people needed. I'm really starting to put together the pieces that help me to realize why I think that's a farce. Because SEOs by our nature and content marketers have had to spend years trying to understand how does AltaVista, Hotbot, Lycos, Excite, Northern Light, etc. We had to figure out and test and reverse engineer how they rank things. And for many of us, that is so deeply embedded in how we think that this is just another thing to reverse engineer. Let me walk you through it and how I think SEO thinking will be the kind of thing that will get our clients the most visibility possible in a world where SEO might actually matter less depending on how you define it. So first of all, let's talk about brands. You can't buy through ChatGPT right now which means you're gonna to have to go to somebody's website at some point to transact. Now, ChatGPT will influence the brands that are shown in those answers. I'll link to it in the notes. We have templates that will enable you to get a brand visibility score in ChatGPT's answers. Our job is to figure out what are the words around our client's core keywords that cause ChatGPT to believe that it's best to go out and grab more intelligence before it generates an answer. And as long as ChatGPT is retrieving that from Bing search, Bing is going to be actually a super big player for us. And why do I think Bing's the future? Well, if you're going to go out and run a Bing search, then I can get the URLs that Bing ranks for that search. If those URLs are the things that you're going to use to get information to alter the answer, then it's really important for me to understand what exactly is on those pages. What do they say about my brand? Is it positive or negative? I need to aggregate all that intelligence to understand the potential risk or opportunity. One of the really important things also is to understand how deep are they going in the Bing search results. I've seen them at times only take the first result. At times I've seen them take seven or eight different results to piece together an answer. The job of an SEO now might have fundamentally changed. So imagine this crazy world where I, as an SEO, might be employed by this client to use all this technology, find out who's feeding those searches, 
and then offer my services to them, maybe paid for by the client. Now, a lot of clients might say, but I want that visibility. I want to control that narrative and I want that traffic. Well, you could do that. But the hard part is, is most brands are horrible at talking about themselves in an honest way, which means you're not going to get rewarded with those rankings, but all is not lost. This could be an opportunity for you to find the sites that trigger the most retrieval augmented generated answers and buy them. Publishers are probably getting hit more than anybody right now. Many of them serve as this middleman. In a chat-driven world, they're going to spider all that content, bring it in, give me the answer, and give me the links to go buy it. If I am the actual manufacturer or if I am the actual client themselves doing the direct selling, I might just want to buy some of these sites so I can have real estate where I can, over time, as my customer starts to use these chat search bots more or less, I now have new chess pieces on the board that I can move around to try to affect how often my brand is mentioned in these answers and how my brand is mentioned. Now, I'm not this devious. I haven't been this devious since the early, since the late 1990s, early 2000s in my SEO thinking. But imagine a world where people will start to try to knock out the top results that mention their competitor well with bad SEO. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Um, that's not, that's not, that's not my current state. But I do retrieve on my own knowledge of being in the space for so long. And that is how search engines like snap.com got completely destroyed because they became too easy to manipulate. So it's going to be really fun to watch how this all kind of plays out with ChatGPT and Bing. The last thing I'll leave you with is it's critical for you as an SEO or a content marketer to prepare your organization for the shift in KPIs. Where you rank, as I hopefully just displayed, may not necessarily always be the best metric to show the value of your work. Start to get your brand scores together to understand where, when my customers ask questions to chatbots, is my brand the answer? And like I said before, we'll link to our templates that can get you started in our notes.